We are often asked what has to be considered when processing our Iglidor tribofilaments. And the short answer is, it doesn't differ that much from standard technical materials and you don't need any specialized equipment. Uh, today I'll show you uh, some simple steps that can be taken uh, for easy processing of the materials, such as drying the material, preparing the printer and choosing the right parameters. The first step will be to dry the material. Um, our filament is delivered in sealed vacuum bags, um, but still we recommend drying the material before each print job, also after it has been stored for a while. And for this, uh, we are using a filament dryer such as this one, and we will use settings for PTG, which are suitable in this case. We recommend drying the material for four to six hours, and um, when the material has too much moisture, it can be recognized by material oozing from the nozzle, um, rough surfaces due to overextrusion or stringing and residue on the finished parts. The next step is to load the material into the printer. And for this, we will also select standard PTG um, in this case, which is suitable for the R150. And we will select the exact parameters later in software. Next, we will prepare our print surface. We can clean it with soapy water or isopropyl alcohol to remove any fingerprints or other residue. And these um, PEI coated magnetic sheets are very well suited for the Iglidor I-150. And for other surfaces such as glass, uh, we recommend our um, adhesion promoter, promoter for tribal filaments. Um, it will um, promote adhesion when the build plate is hot and it will allow for easy release of the part after the build plate has cooled down. For the correct parameters, we offer a detailed document with uh, extensive information. Um, this can be found in our webshop and it can also be accessed by scanning the QR code on the spool. For uh, very popular printers such as the Bambolab machine or Prusa printers, we also offer uh, ready-made profiles that can be downloaded from our website and this allows for easy and successful printing. And now all we have to do is start the print shop and just monitor the first few layers to make sure everything is all right. And after the print shop, after the build plate has cooled down, the part can usually be easily removed. And we can also do some post-processing, such as drilling holes, reaming bearing surfaces, or adding threaded inserts. And a successful print with Iglidor I-150 can be recognized by shiny smooth surfaces without any over extrusion and without any uh, residue such as stringing or uh, blobs on the part surface. And that's already it. If you follow these simple steps, printing of Iglidor I-150 will be very easy and your project will be successful. Thank you for your attention.